G'day, my name is Joseph and I'm here with Ian and today we sit here and we're going to minister uh, to 11 people that's on the, on the list here. Uh, so if your name is on the list, then you can listen and you can uh, write us a comment to just give us some feedback. Also, if you, if you see your name is not on the list, it's always good to listen to prophetic word and just to say to the Lord, Lord, thank you, I received that word, that word is for me. You know, when you read your Bible, uh, the whole Bible from beginning to end was pretty much written for other people. <laughs> it was never actually, never said, you know, to people of 2024, 20, yeah, as a, a Bible verse for you. Uh, it was uh, written a long time ago for different people. But because God is not a respecter of persons, we can read that scripture and we can say, thank you, Lord, I received that as a promise to me also. Now, it's the same with personal prophetic words. You can listen to it and you can say to the Lord, Lord, thank you for that promise. I also receive it for my life. So that, that can be a blessing for you. So just grab a, uh, yourself a pad and just sit and write down as the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Listen uh, um, through this video. And then as all the prophetic words come out, you're going to say, yes, Lord, I received that for me. And I received that thing also for me. Uh, and you can do it always when you hear prophetic words. That's, that is um, available for all of us. All right, awesome. So I want to start to minister to Layla. As Layla, uh, the Lord is just reiterating to you that He has called you. He's given you a, a governmental authority uh, upon your life. And I see how the Lord says, every place where your foot shall tread, the Lord shall give it to you. I see a leadership transfer, just like Moses to Joshua. So in the same way, there is leadership authority that's being transferred to you. But you have grown, you have matured in the Lord. You've been faithful to the Lord and the Lord is going to bless you. God bless you, Layla. Hi, Layla. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just hear over and over and over again, faithful 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 and i just see how through all of this test that you went through uh, and it was a hard time that you stayed faithful you made a commitment to the lord and you've kept it and i just see how the blessings of the lord starts to blow like a wind when you've got a, a sail yacht uh, that that needs wind if there's no wind it stands still but i just see how the wind of the holy spirit comes and it blows your boat so you're going to get a lot of momentum you're going to get a lot of peace and i just see how the lord says remember i'm with you even though sometimes it feels like your challenges are very hard the lord says just remember that i'm with you i, I did not leave you i did not forsake you um, and then just know that the peace of the lord is at hand you need to take it and make it your own be blessed hey awesome uh, Layla, uh, God bless you. Uh, so um, the next word is for Elizabeth. Um, so Elizabeth, uh, when you go and listen to an orchestra, then usually the piano will play the A note, and then all the instruments have to tune their violins or the instruments, whatever they have, according to that A note of the piano. Because the piano, he can't change it. He's, he's fixed. So the piano is tuned before the time, and so he plays his A note and then everybody can, can tune their stringed instruments or whatever they're playing. Uh, and I saw how the Lord is coming to you and to Christopher and he's playing that note. And you come into tune with the Lord and Christopher comes into tune with the Lord and you come into tune with one another. And so there's perfect unity between you and Christopher but also between the two of you and the Lord. Now I know uh, the high priest when he went into the Holy of Holies he usually had the blood of the lamb that he had a, a cone that he swirled it in and then he had the incense with the herbs and the oil that was burning and then he also was singing and so you would sing and they would have the, the the blood and they would have the incense and all three of those come into the same frequency as god and then that the heavens opened up and the lord manifested usually and gave them opportunity to come and do the courts and get forgiveness of sins and blessings and i felt that same process is happening in the life of you and of christopher how the lord opens up the 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 windows of heaven uh, and how he meets and encounters with you and with christopher how he washes both of you clean of all your sins how he pronounces blessings over you and give you mandates that's all because both of you are willing to say but we're going to tune and come into the same frequency as god god bless you hi elizabeth the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of a slingshot 
Now, pulling it back takes a lot of effort and the, there's a lot of strain. Uh, but I see that's how you were. And now the Lord is releasing you. And I just see your family moving very fast. I see um, a, a acceleration in your life where you just felt it, it's taking quite some time. And I just see how the Lord says it's launching. It is, it, it's going out and I see it's definitely going to hit the target. The same as David with Goliath. It, David did what he could, but the Lord has done the rest. Uh, just because David trusted tremendously in the Lord and he knew the things of the Spirit, he gained a massive victory. And I just see how you're on the same path where the Lord says you're taking out giants and you just going to carry on. Do what you do. It's not about, um, it's about what you do, but the rest is up to the Lord. So if it's, if it's something you can't do, don't hammer on it. The Lord says, I will take care of it. Be blessed. Hey, Elizabeth, God bless you. Christopher, uh, the Lord is showing to me, acceleration time management more responsibility growth expansion and in order to do all of this he's giving you boldness and he's making you as bold as a lion and you're not going to quiver you're not going to hesitate but you're going to um, hit hard and, and go forward and have many many breakthroughs uh, in your life and so i felt that the lord says right now every minute counts uh, and uh, it's also equally important to keep your joy through this whole process because that's where your faith, where your strength, where your authority is, is when you have the joy. God bless you, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of, uh, like in sports, let's say whether it's football, uh, how the Lord is cheering you on and He says, that is my son. And I just see how the Lord is actually loud and uh, he draws your attention and at first it was kind of awkward but then you realized it's the Lord cheering you on and how you get so much confidence because the Lord is caring for you he's cheering you and just like a father is so proud of his son uh, when he's um, making the team and when he's actually uh, achieving a lot I just see how the Lord feels that way about you even though you don't realize it sometimes the Lord really loves you tremendously and and he's proud of you be blessed hey christopher god bless you uh, so uh, sherika uh, i see you with a bow and arrow, arrow and you need to shoot and you want to shoot but there's no target to shoot at and then the lord opens up the the door for you the opportunity when a door opens up and you look through the door and you see oh there's my target you pull your arrow and you shoot and you hit the target and so you have a lot of skills you have a lot of capabilities and potential that are not being fulfilled right now and that can bring frustration to you but i felt that the lord says keep your joy keep your patience keep on trusting me i'm gonna in the right time open up the door and then you're gonna shoot your arrow and you're gonna hit that target the lord is gonna bring multiplication to you god bless you hi sharika the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i saw a picture of a white cloth that opened up and the Lord used the blood of the lamb to write on it and I see there's decrees on that and then he takes it and he gives it to you and puts it in your pocket now everywhere you walk you've got that anointing that power with you that uh, that the words of the Lord and the blood of the lamb I just see that it is with you and how you start to pray for people and there's miracles that are happening you speak to people and you encourage them and it hits their heart it is it's not just something like ah oh, okay uh, you said it let, let's just get it over no it's going to have a tremendous impact in their lives how you will just encourage people and how there's a lot of love and breakthrough uh, in that that cloth that the lord is giving to you and just realize that he's investing a lot of power in your life be blessed Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you, uh, Sherika. Uh, please write us a comment. Next word is for Ari. Ari, I, I see the doors of your house and how the blood of Jesus is being applied to the doorposts and how the angel of death comes, but he cannot come. He can't come in because of the blood of Jesus that's on your house uh, and there's a protection. And then the Lord shows me a supernatural transfer of wealth to your house, just like the Israelites also had 
the gold and the silver of the Egyptians. So in the same way the Lord says, you and your household shall have a transfer of wealth and the Lord is going to bring an inheritance uh, to you. Uh, but the blood of Jesus on the doorposts is uh, the covenant that you make with the Lord. The Lord loves you very, very much. He's very proud of you. Uh, I see that the Lord is just healing your heart. Your heart is very soft. And so because your heart is soft, it's easy for you to get hurt. But the Lord is touching you. He's healing you. And He's making you strong. And I see the, the, the blood of Jesus is like a barrier between the attack of the enemy and you. And so you do not have to fear. God bless you. I, Ari, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a, a very small sword that you have uh, in its sheath. And it's very comfortable to to walk around with but it seems like it's very small but then I see when you pull it out to use it it becomes a gigantic sword and it is exactly the length that it needs to be for every circumstance that you need to use it and I see how the Lord says I'm giving you my word and I'm placing it into your hands so make the decrees that you need to do I see there's spiritual battles you're fighting and those decrees that you're going to make is like a sword that reaches up to the point where it needs to reach and actually brings deliverance and breakthrough for you so use the word of the Lord it's not like some of the people love to carry their Bibles but it does not mean much because they don't know the power of it but the Lord says I'm going to give you a word and that word even though you will not be able to see it but when you use it the enemy will definitely see it and will know that it is very, very destructive to the kingdom of the darkness. So use it. God says, make your decrees. Be blessed. God bless you, Ori. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you are a wonderful um, supporter um, and I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, the next word is for Stephen. Stephen, uh, I see how you climb up a mountain and a mountain has to do with your finances and your work and then you come to the top of the mountain now on the other side there's a valley and now that means you have to go down through that valley and now what to do now you're just standing still but because you're not sure what to do next and then suddenly you look and you see but there is a, a cable and um, then a person comes and he's got uh, a, a control and, and he can hook you up onto the cable that you can slide uh, with that cable over the valley and so you say thank you and you take the opportunity and you slide over the valley and you next to the, the the foot of the next mountain where you can continue to go up again and you don't have to go through the pain of going through that valley and so I felt that the Lord is going to supernaturally give you connections with people that's going to help you so you don't have to um, go down but you can continue in the direction that the God, the Lord has given to you. So I, I believe the Lord is putting favor on your life. He's giving you friends. He's networking you. Uh, it's a new person that you didn't know before, but He opened up a door for you uh, because He see the potential that you also bring. And so I, I just felt favor. God bless you. Hi Stephen, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Uh, the picture that I saw was uh, the tracks of a tank. Uh, where the Lord says, I'm giving you traction. Now, the, those tracks don't get punches. They can go anywhere. And I just see tremendous tractions in difficult circumstances, especially in the mud where you used to get stuck. How the Lord gives you traction and that spiritual traction where the circumstances that always got you stuck and frustrated. I just see how the things that used to be difficult suddenly become so easy and you wonder why you struggled so much with those things but the lord says it's because i am equipping you so that you can overcome whatever task i'm going to give you the circumstances in your life you will overcome be blessed hey awesome thank you very much uh, stephen god bless you uh, lawrence uh, the lord is saying to me uh, meat that you have to cook on a grill uh, but the coals are already completely gray and i starting to get a little cold and then um you realize i'm not going to get this meat cooked with this coals um especially some of that meat is chicken so it needs a little bit more time and then you add more coals to that fire and then slowly you use the heat of the coals that's there but you also the the coals that you added kind of start to also form new coals and then you were able to push it through and so then the lord said to me that when you 
do your business when you work um, in your life with Malvina and with uh, your your f- financial business. I just felt that the Lord uh, is giving you more calls, and that calls is um, it looked to me like Bible verses that you were reading, uh, portions in the Bible, and that became a revelation to you. It really edified you and it strengthened you. Also, conversations that you sometimes have with people or or a ministry that people give to you or you get to give to other people. But I see all of those activities is like calls of even you and Malvina just encouraging each other or praying with one another. It's also like calls that you put on a fire. But I felt that the Lord says, um, you need to add now, new calls now uh, so that you can complete this cooking and this girl that you need to do. Uh, the Lord loves you very, very much. Uh, you, you're very faithful. You're a pragmatic guy. You have a lot of common sense um, and so the Lord is just adding to that also patience and wisdom uh, but he also wants to add to it these coals that you need to put on a fire God bless you Lawrence Hi Lawrence, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you uh, what I see is a picture where you are playing American football and now the Lord gives you this kit to put on uh, but you're not sure how it works and I see how the other team comes and they just tackle you you are knocked out but you realize you didn't get hurt and now it happens for two or three times how i just see how the enemy comes and then you realize you can have confidence because you're so protected with the kit that you're wearing it's not that you are getting injured and how you uses that um that that experience that you've got through those tackles you use it and now you start to run and attack the enemy and how you realize that you are protected so it is not just in the beginning it's protection for yourself but then it takes some time to get uh, used to and get uh, your faith going and then when you get your faith going then it's going to be a massive season for you because it's not just you on the defensive part it's actually you starting to attack the kingdom of darkness how you can um uh, I just see how you so faithfully, how you start to give and care for people because you're going to have a lot of abundance and how you will be able to pray for people and with people. You, you're not going to be concerned what other people say. So it's going to take some time to get used to it. But when you, once you're used to it, you'll definitely feel that Holy Spirit boost inside of you. Be blessed. Hey, Lawrence, God bless you. Thank you. Um, so Malvina, uh, the Lord is saying to me, Noah, how he got the instructions to build the boat and then he had to build this ark took him a long time Um, and so parts of Noah's life was very spiritual I mean it's amazing that he walked with God and he could hear God's voice and the Lord gave him this very clear instructions to build this boat but then it was very practical to build a boat he had to physically get the wood with his sons they had to saw it they had to to put it all together until it's a boat and so he was like a very practical part of it and then a very spiritual part of it and then later became very spiritual at the end again and so i just felt that the lord says it's the same with you you're going to have encounters with god that's extremely spiritual but then the the work and the things that you do it's going to be very practical and so don't for one second think that the practical things is not as valuable as the spiritual things in both of those you have to use the gifts of the holy spirit you have to use the wisdom of god you have to listen to him although the one is very spiritual and the one is very practical and both of them work together and that's that's just what i saw for you and i, and I felt i just wanted to encourage you when you feel you're doing very practical things don't think for one second that's not spiritual or that's not your call that's all part of what god has called you to do god bless you Hi Malvina, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of a script of items that you've listed um, and how you feel like it's so much effort working on your online business where you're putting so much effort in it but the reward is not a lot. And I just see how the Lord says keep on doing it. I see two to three years but I think more of three then it's going to be so successful that you actually say well i can't believe that i don't have to really do anything but your income is perpetual so this is the working phase the hard working phase where you're not going to see rewards but the lord says stay the course you will get there it will be blessed the blessing of the lord is upon it uh, but it's going to take some time to to get everything worked out and once it's worked out it's really going to be a very very big blessing 
into your lives. Be blessed. Hey, awesome, Marvina. God bless you. He loves you very much. Um, uh, please write us a comment also. So the next word is for Kerry Watson. So Kerry, I see a monthly description and how people every month um, use your services and how you also have people that work for you and they help you to fulfill those services and uh, um, people sign up and you help them every month. Uh, I don't know if it's with social media or with the um, marketing, uh, with uh, communications to their clients again. But I see how you have a, a package that you sell and people sign up, but they don't pay a big amount in the beginning. They pay every month an amount or maybe in the beginning a bigger amount and then later every month a maintenance amount. Uh, and, and then that's, that becomes your business. And so I feel the Lord is going to give you a brilliant uh, business strategy that's going to be a blessing to you. God bless you, Kerry. Hi, Kerry. The Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a scratch card that you receive and you're scratching and halfway through you're like, but is this right to do it? And then you look carefully, your name was written on that scratch card. And when you scratched it, it says you have won, but you're not sure what you've won. And then you looked at the back and the back was blank. And you were thinking and, and meditating upon this for quite some time. And then you go to the Holy Spirit and you say, Holy Spirit, what must I do with this? And then the Holy Spirit said, I was waiting for you to come and claim your prize. Now, just see how the Holy Spirit is, is so excited that you make the commitment that you said, yes, I'm going to do it. And that you push through because there was lots of doubts whether you should carry on, whether you should stop. And I just see how the Holy Spirit says that because you you pushed through, you carried on, uh, there's a big breakthrough for you. And I just see how the Holy Spirit's going to help you a lot. It's going to, the Holy Spirit's going to whisper in your ear and give you a lot of advice as well so that you became very, very successful in your business. Be blessed. Hello, Kerry. God bless you. All right, so, Cindy, uh, I really feel uh, that the Lord loves you, uh, that He... Uh, is taking you up to the next level uh, that you don't have to have any fear um, sometimes thoughts come up with say but am I going to be all right uh, what if this what if that happened and I just felt that the Lord says you can come into complete trust and uh, peace uh, because God is around you he's protecting you um, he is setting his angels around you he's providing for you in every uh, area of your life i even see a, a table set where the lord have intimacy with you and he dines with you he talks with you and although you see there is the enemy the lord says no weapon formed against you so prosper the lord is pouring his love out into your heart and he's taking out all the fear and all that uh, pressure and anxiety that the enemy wants to bring uh, to you uh, I also see how all those voices silence in your head and you can clearly hear the voice of God um, and you hear how the Lord affirms you as his daughter. He loves you very, very much. God bless you, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. The Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a, uh, I think you call it a dough roller that you need to roll out the dough. Anyway. Uh, and then one day you realized, but there's a piece of paper over the dough roller. And you took that off and it was actually a letter that the Lord sent to you a long time ago. But you were working, you were so busy, you did not even realize. And how you open it, and I see it's a love letter from the Lord. How he shows you how much he loves you, how much he cares for you. And then he says, you know what? When I paid the price on the cross, I was thinking about you. I had you in mind. So the price that I paid is complete, it is enough, it is full to cover whatever needed to be covered from your side as well. So I see there's an issue, but the Lord says that issue is covered. Don't focus and be concerned about that. You have brought it to the Lord, but he says now I'm delivering you from the, the concerns that you have. But the Lord says love covers a multitude and i'm covering you and then i just see how the tears that flows out of you becomes tears of healing where you can share your testimony to other people as well where it's going to bring healing in your life but also in their lives as well be blessed okay. Cindy, i i forgot to to say that i also saw a, a inheritance that you received from a family member um and you didn't really know what you can do with it but then i see how that inheritance suddenly 
gets meaning and it's, it's very valuable and useful for you. Anyway, that's something I saw. All right, God bless you, Sydney. Um, please write us a comment. So uh, the next person is David. Uh, David, um, I see uh, about three, could maybe be four or five guys even working together and you're one of them. Uh, but then uh, the one person brings a very negative um, atmosphere into the environment. And then I see how that person leaves. And then when that person leaves, suddenly the whole atmosphere change. And then uh, you guys get to repaint the the offices on the inside. And instead of a dark, gloomy color, you can make it a nice light color. And you paint it all and you know open up the windows. And there's a lot of light and joy and positivity coming in there. Uh, but then there's also increase in finances, increase in joy, in time, in just enjoying to do the work. It's not a, it's not a punishment to work. It's a, it's, it's, it's a passion. Uh, it's a calling. It's a joy to do it. And I feel the Lord is giving you a massive breakthrough by removing that component out of your life that brought all the, the gloom and the negativity. God bless you. Hi David, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of uh, the Holy Spirit hovering over your circumstances and it looks for possibility. It looks what can be. Even though you see uh, everything looks empty and dull, but the Spirit sees the possibility. And then I see there's an open door and the Holy Spirit goes into that open door, which is you, and how suddenly you realized how much possibility uh, is available and you were blind to see the possibilities but now the holy spirit opens your eyes and then you see all of these possibilities and you wonder oh, how how are you going to get time and resources to achieve all that is available and then the holy spirit says i'm going to show you priorities which one you start first and second and third and then you work through it and you actually discover how much possibilities inside of you but also around you as well be blessed Hey, David, God bless you. Family, it was a pleasure for us to minister to you. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is in the first comment, I'll pin a, a link there to Jan's channel and also to the teaching channel. Um, and I want to invite you to go and check it out. Um, we love and appreciate each one of you. Um, remember to go and write down the prophetic words and pray, get instructions from God. The Lord loves you very, very much. God bless. Okay, so now we